Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, at the end of uh, next week we will see the implementation of one of the more significant uh, tax reform packages in New Zealand for quite some time, uh, but an important measure in uh, assisting, the, assisting the rebalancing of the New Zealand economy. The changes on the 1st of October will reward effort, will reward work <coughs> and savings and investment, and they will help Kiwi families get ahead. But as more important, just as importantly, the package as a whole will deal with the cons help deal with the consequences of the appalling mismanagement of this economy through the last ten years, through the term of the previous Labor government. Because this tax package is going to openly favour savings and investments, investment and exports and it is designed to increase the disincentives to consume too much, uh, to borrow too much, particularly for property speculation, uh, and to exacerbate the imbalances that built up in this economy over the first decade of this century. Mr Speaker, there will be uh, a number of New Zealanders, I think, who are very familiar with the idea that GST will rise from 125 to 15% not from zero to 15 per cent, as the Labor Party is putting in its pamphlets. Uh, when it comes to misleading uh, numbers and implications, there's not much uh, could be more misleading than that. Uh, but they're probably not quite expecting the reduction in income taxes. And it'll take a couple of pay... It'll take a couple... Oh, the member for Waimakariri is really struggling. <laughs> Point of order, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Just, just in goodwill, sir, I was certainly not calling Mr English a fool. I was calling Mr Quinn a fool. Order. <laughs> Member shouldn't do that, interrupting us. Order. order, we won't have this ongoing interjection, but members should not interrupt speeches for trivial reasons. So I apologise, the Honourable Billing. Well, Mr Speaker, that's one of the more... Uh, th that intervention just shows why the member for Waimakariri is doing so well on the Labour Party. This is most insightful and thoughtful contribution... In this, in this term of office, uh, lost without Mike, as it has been for about 15 years. <laughs> Mr Speaker, people will believe the income tax cuts, I'm sure, when they actually see them. But he, he is just, here's just one figure. After the 1st of October, 73% of New Zealand earners will have a top statutory tax rate of 17 and a half cents. 73% of New Zealand earners will have a top statutory tax rate of 17 and a half cents. And <clears throat> that is the lower, in, the lower 73% of New Zealand earners, the lowest earning um, New Zealanders, because we believe incentives matter across the board. Uh, and that is one of the features of this package, that when you uh, take account of the tax range of tax increases that are occurring, because this is a neutral package, roughly neutral, tax cuts are offset by other tax increases, uh, then the impact of those tax changes across the board are broadly even uh, across the income groups. And the government took the unprecedented step, actually, at the budget of producing a number of measures of the uh, equity impact of the tax cuts. New Zealanders, no, well, they didn't do that. Uh, New Zealanders can, like the opposition, go to taxguide.govit.co and put in their own figures that reflect their own circumstances and calculate just how well, just how well or otherwise they come out ahead from the tax changes. Mr Speaker, there's been a bit of discussion about inflation. Uh, as, as I pointed out in question time, Reserve Bank forecasts for inflation actually show uh, the forecasts now lower than they were uh, a number of months ago. The opposition can't have it both ways. They either have to argue there's high inflation in a growing economy, or if they say the economy is failing, uh, they have to accept that there will be lower inflation uh, because of a slower growing economy. Mr Speaker, the fact is... The fact is that even with the GST rise, the one-off inflation rate will get a bit over 5%. That's about the same rate as it was when Labor left office with no GST increase, no one-off price increase. 
And of course, New Zealanders are wearing uh, the consequences of a number of their decisions. For instance, the increase in ACC is directly attributable to the reckless and competent management of the taxpayer's largest single asset. It's taking us two or three years to clean up that mess. But after the 1st of October, Mr Order. Speaker, New Zealanders will see the progress. Honourable Clayton Cosgrove.